about the force is periodic, and how about the force is uh, periodic but irregular? Irregular that means it's not simple as simple as a square, uh, the square pulse, uh, square form or triangular form, and irregular something like this. So if this is a force and this is a time, so in one period, that is a period here, so maybe it's something like this, okay? So irregular, that means this is repeated. Okay, so basically in the pattern is repeated, we call it uh, periodic. And irregular, that means we uh, what I define irregular or text was referred to is there's a so there's a not such simple geometry can describe. For example, usually if we want to describe such a curve, we have to use higher order polynomial to approximate. Okay, so irregular that simply is means in general we don't have such close form expressions uh, for such curve. Okay, so that's called irregular. So in these sections, we kind of generalize uh, our techniques to deal with, I would say, general uh, periodic functions. Okay, so basically here is, I, I would say, this, the last two words is redundant. Simply, we deal with periodic uh, forcing functions. Okay. So examples like this, okay, there's a period and repeat it. And uh, here is regular, so here is the PWN-like functions, and this is the triangular, okay? And um, that is a general periodic function, and you can name it uh, if you like. So for any period functions, periodic functions, like I said, we can utilize Fourier series expansions to expand it or to express in terms of the combinations of constant and also using a combination of the uh, harmonic function of different frequencies, cosine omega t, cosine 2 omega t, 3 omega t, etc. and sine. Okay, and again here j means the integers is not a uh, complex index, okay? So j is an integer simply meaning this is a dis discrete uh, working frequency omega, q omega, 3 omega, etc. Uh, you have done the uh, Fourier series expansion before, so here my job is to provide you a review. So the needed tools we need to use, and not to give you the thorough uh, uh, introduction about how the Fourier series has been applied. So here I provide the final result, and then we simply apply the result of the formula to do the calculations. Um, so here is the summaries of the whole Fourier series uh, expansions, and for our engineering use, engineering use, this portion should be good enough. So it's saying uh, as long as you can identify a function, periodic function, as long as you can identify its period, t. Okay, t uh, can be uh, any numbers. Okay, then the its corresponding Fourier series expansions. Uh, this, what I mean is this one. I call the expansion is to expand this function in terms of the combination of harmonic terms. Okay, that's for the expansion. Sometimes people say uh, Fourier series of certain function. Okay, that means the Fourier series like this one. So in this form, basically, uh, that is in combination of cosine and sine at a different um, frequency omega. 2 omega, 3 omega, etc. So basically, that term, those terms are constant there. And the only thing for us to calculate is the coefficients. A now, A1, A2, A, A3, A4, until infinity, and similar B1, B2, etc. So those are the coefficients we're going to calculate. The majority of the work of the time spent in doing a very serious expansion problem is on the calculation of the coefficients. Okay, so how to do it? And in this calculation, you simply plug in, so whatever the functions, so, sorry, here I should be lowercase f. So let me see if I can modify it. Okay, 
So basically here, usually the f, this function is given. So in this integral, uh, you simply plug in whatever the given functions here and multiply with cosine. And j is the index, and j starting from 0, 1, 2. So, so that means for j equal to 0, you integrate this. You got a number for a0, and that goes to here. When j equal to 1, you integrate this one more time, and that's for a1, etc. Repeat it, repeat it until uh, the necessary terms, and you decide you, can, you are able to truncate it, then stop there. Okay. So that is the, the where the, cal the calculation rigors from. In a similar way, ft is given. You plug in here, you can de determine bj. Again, uh, here I only try to uh, provide a review. So uh, I'm not going to go through from the day, uh, from the very fundamental, and the many kind of details, no, I skip. Um, this one, I, I got it from, uh, last night I do the final the, the final revisions and revised version uploaded on Blackboard. So if you have printed out and those one will be additional pages you need to print for yourself. Okay. And these are alternative notations for Fourier series functions. So all the notation, all the uh, the alternative notations are the same, but many times they simply. Uh, described in a different form. So that is where sometimes students feel confused. How come I've learned is this, and now I look at it this one? Because they simply give you the different expressions. And now I summarize here. So for example, here in the, our form is this. We are given the period t, okay? And then we decide omega is in uh, two pi over t, and that is the frequency, and we have this one. So keep this one in mind. Sometimes we are given, say, the period in terms of L. Okay, L is a, in terms of certain number K. <sighs> Basically, if you know the period, you simply plug in the period into the template in the previous slides. And if you do a little bit more kind of the equivalence uh, demonstration, you can see the two forms are the same. Okay, I just want to share with you is the sometimes the people given the different format. With this one, you can simply map it. Okay, to map it. And another form is like this, and people given the period in terms of 2L. Don't ask me why. And different textbook, they have a different preference. Um, basically, that is result the same. If you have a 2L, you plug in the whole thing. If you remember in the previous slides, in the original, we are at the two here, right? So right now, if they using the different notation for period, for example, t equal to two l. If t equal to two l, then that means simply convert it into one over l here. Accordingly, the frequency described by this again, if you do a little bit math, you can find it. They basically the same. Okay. Uh, the final form is like this. It's simply given omega, okay? So I think this one is what we have before. So basically that is the different pattern that I simply summarize here. And I think it'll be easier for us to do it. And here, follow up is the one example. And again, um, this one you should be able to download, print it out and for your, for your reference. And this, for example, if we have the first <coughs> functions like this, what is that function? That function is this. This is t, this is ft, and that is the function. This is ft equal to t. Sorry, there I'm using x, but if you change the variable, that would be the similar, okay? So here is the, my calculation. I simply plug in into our a, J, BJ formula and do the calculation to the integral like this. Okay, so basically we found A0, A, A in. So that one, we have everything and so we plug in there. So that is a term like this. Okay. Um, follow up with a few more pages. That is, I copied from the internet, but I think that is a very good slide I share with you here. And again, um, if we are given the functions and say like this, 
So by all means, the first thing first, you have to draw it, graph this function into this way. That will be able to help you to visualize the periodic and the period, uh, the period of the the functions. For example, if you look at this, so very clearly, this is a 50% PWN uh, pulse watch functions. Okay. So again, we know the period. So here we define which regions. We define the region for this example from minus pi to pi. So that is the range of the uh, inter integral we're going to take. If you like, you can also take from 0 to 2 pi. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. OK. Uh, here we take in this one. So here, the follow up with the three slides again. I share with you is the detailed calculation. You simply plug in the f of x, that's the given functions here, and then the function basically have the two forms between uh, the two range. You simply do the calculation carefully. This provides you the detailed uh, things. Okay, a zero and a n and b n. Okay, so you can refer to those things. So eventually, we are given this province. And we want to express the result into this, and calculation of A0, A, and B, N are given here, which is a summarized from the, few, uh, the summaries from the few, uh, previous few slides. So once you have all the two coefficients you plug in here, that is the final form. Okay? And suppose, suppose you have to do this one by your own. Good? So that's the purpose I provide here. Another example. Uh, we are given a function similar to that one, and then given into this interval, basically the period, the period is 2 pi, so we have this one here. Okay, so we can do this quickly. So calculation for A0, for AN, and for BN. So summarize, we are given this one, and we wish to express into this. We the calculated the coefficient, this is the final form. Good? Good. Okay, so we stop here today.